Welcome back to Long Live the Queen. Long live the Queen. <laughs> All right. Anyway, continuing on. He loves me. You already he read this part. Me. Fuck you. I don't care. Shut up, Justin. <laughs> Lottie, you have a boyfriend? Because if you don't, I'll be your boyfriend. Oh my god. <laughs> I re- <coughs> not really. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. You're my flower. <laughs> <laughs> you gather your you gather your skirts. Uh, apparently, they were naked already. And prepare to say no. You know what that means, right? Mm. It, they like lift yeah, up their skirt yeah, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah. they don't step on it. Yeah. yeah. You gather your skirts and prepare to sit down. When all of a sudden, a hissing noise alerts you to a hidden danger: a snake. No, oh, it's an alien. Too soon. Shut up. Look at that face. How can I say that God any damn. other way? <laughs> damn it. Your reflexes failed and you are afraid. You grab for a stick to push the snake away, but you lack the skills to do the job properly. And poking the snake only makes oh. it angry. Too fast to see, it lunges forward and sinks its fangs into your leg. Well, uh... The snake slithers away, but it's too late now. A strange tingling sensation begins to spread through your flesh. We're fucked! I don't feel good. Your leg is going numb. You stumble and fall to the ground. Hold on! Your cousin kneels beside you and presses her hands over the bite mark. <clears throat> the area throbs painfully, then begins to feel warm. After a minute, you are dizzy, but your leg isn't buzzing anymore, and even the wound has disappeared. How did you do that? Does that work in any other part of the body? Oh. <laughs> I don't know how I do it. I just can't. I'm not supposed to tell anybody. People think it's freaky. You won't tell, will you? Of, co <clears throat> of course not. I'm just lucky you were here. Girls! Damn it, wait. Ah, oh, what was it? <laughs> uh. Girls! What's going on out here? I heard yelling. Dude, when you said girls, you sounded like fucking him from Powerpuff Girls. Oh my god. And it was awesome. Oh. Oh yeah, because Powerpuff Girls, so... Mm -hmm. Girls! <laughs> Nothing! God, he's one of those guys that has that double voice. Oh he's got yeah. that dark undertone man voice, but then he's got that... Powerpuff Girls! Prepare to die! You're so like, holy shit! You're cool! That's probably one of your first exposures to that sort of thing. Yeah. Powerpuff Girls. Powerpuff Girls taught me what the devil is. That song, the, uh, you know what I'm talking about? That really good Powerpuff Girls song? Love, 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 makes the world go round. Love. Which one is, uh... It, they, no, no, that's the intro. They like sang a song in one of the episodes. It was the one where like they had to bring color back. Oh, I know the episode you're talking of, but I cannot think of the song. I remember the song being amazing. I don't remember it though. We saw a snake, but it got away. A snake! That's it! Charlotte, pack your things! We're going back to Merva! It's not safe here! That bitch is rarity! And that's Sweetie Belle. That bitch got magic. Mid-Atlantic accent. Uh, attend court. That <laughs> sounds fun. You will get pressured and depressed. But that yielding, eh. Um, eh. Yeah, yielding and cheerful. Just a little bit of homely. Let's do that one. You spend the weekend holed up alone in your room with your favorite toys. It's childish, but you feel a bit better. All right, where are we at? All right, so we're a little cheerful now. That's good. All right, we need some willful stuff. We're very yielding. Ah, oh, but no, 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 no. Look what yielding does, dude. Yeah, see? Oh, really? Yeah, but cheerful will also do other things. So it's really a finding that balance of which ones you want to do. So let's see. Uh, I'm feeling more royal demeanor. Okay. You know what I'm feeling. Yeah. Falcons. Well, no, so no, we need do, we need history. Yeah, look really at that do. bonus. I know. Let's do foreign affairs. Mm. We don't have any. We need to balance things out all just right, in case. All right, all right, all right. 
And then let's do presence. Presence, foreign affairs. Uh, you practice wearing the royal regalia, looking at yourself and looking at yourself in the mirror. Young as you are, you are a queen of the blood. You are your. I'm sorry. You are your mother's daughter. You are a force to be reckoned with. You're, nice. You're fierce. Look at that fierce stance. Like a tiger. You study the relationship of Nova and its nearest neighbors. The borders have been mostly peaceful in recent years, except for the problems with Ixion to the south. However, trouble may be brewing in Pyrrhus as well. Ixion, what a shitty summon in Final Fantasy X. I was thinking the same goddamn thing. Odin is way better. The castle seems quieter with Charlotte and Emery and Sora and the other parents gone. Their parents gone. Full stop. Look at my smile. Deep into your soul. Forever. And ever. And ever. And you're freaking them out. <laughs> it's certainly not empty, though. It seems like we get more servants every day. What are you feeling? What's, uh, mm, mean? Mm, mm. Service. Do you want to try and lean more towards cheerful instead of yielding, or whatever? You mean willful? Well, do you want to be willful, or do you want to be yielding, or do you want to? Do we want? All right. What do we want? Like, do we want like a fine line character? Do we want? I I would like to have one that's sort of balanced in a lot of different areas, so that we're ready for anything. Yeah. To some degree. I don't want her lonely. All right, so and pressured and angry. Want to shoot for those right now? Yeah, because we don't want her being afraid. We don't want other kingdoms or anybody taking advantage of her. Let's see. Well, there's negative one afraid. Where's angry? No angry yet. So negative one afraid. Just one afraid. That's the only one I was afraid, right. so. You attend services in the Castle Grove, letting the peace of the ritual calm your heart. Yay! She looks so calm now. Uh. Uh. We're cheerful. Alright. And yielding. So let's do... Let's... Stick with Royal Demeanor, since we have such a good bonus at the moment. And then what will cheerful do? Uh, I guess that's not really what we need to look at. Let's just look at what we get bonuses to. We could do faith, or animal, or more history, or medicine. History? History? History is important. Yeah. Especially as a queen. You must learn from your past so that mistakes do not remit. Let's do world history then. And then let's do composure. <clears throat> you practice deep breathing exercises, learning to find and maintain a sense of inner calm. You look at a globe of the world, reading names of places so distant you can't remember ever hearing about them and other areas left blank because no explorer venturing there has ever returned. Oh shit! Damn straight. One of the maids approaches for your attention. Uh... Give her a smoker voice. That's what I gave the other chick though. Mm. Uh... Hmm. German. Uh, I guess I could go accents, yeah. Uh... What's a German accent? My lady, couriers have arrived from the Duke of Sedania. That's Sedania. Uh, but that's... I don't know if that's really German. That's going just sort of, uh... Dutch. Fuck it. Make her Dutch. My lady, couriers have arrived from the Duke. I don't know if I can do it with a girl voice. That's tough. Do it with a man voice. Eh, I don't know. Uh, uh, 
Fuck. Um. Hmm. <clears throat> uh. <clears throat> <laughs> That's the stuff with nightmares. <laughs> My lady. Curtis, oh, oh, she's fired. Sh- shut up. <laughs> My lady. Couriers have arrived from the Duke of Sedna. We have a Duke of Sedna? No, my lady. Come, come, my lady. The Duchy of Sedna is in Tallahassee. We've been studying foreign affairs. God damn. They have brought you a letter and a gift. Condolences on the death of, deeply regret, best wishes. Oh, what a beautiful necklace. Something sparkly will make me feel better. I don't know why I'm getting rapey with everything that happens, but I'm loving it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Let's all walk in the gardens. Oh, what? Lonely and cheerful. Mm. What's our mood? We're cheerful. Under pressure. Under pressure. Hmm. Yeah, it's whatever. Hmm. Want to talk to Dad? Sure. Dad, what really happened to Mom? She choked on this dick. No. Damn. <laughs> she was a lumen, a magic user. It was meant to be in reserve to defend our domain, but she insisted on. You don't need to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> Things in the bedroom, but that's another matter. <clears throat> she used magic. It drained her strength. She thought it was harmless, and it wasn't. <laughs> Eventually, her heart just stopped. You're very cavalier about this. Yeah, I know. This is, uh, I don't know. I'm King Dolwaga. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I don't want you involved with it. Now I'm turning into Sean Connery, thanks. I didn't do anything, fuck you. <laughs> oh, let's aim for willful and pressured. Under pressure. Or, or do you still want to go for pressured and angry since they're so close? Sure. Okay. So pressured, angry, pressured, angry, pressured, angry. Oh, wait, we have to do classes first. Yeah. Um. Uh, that damn loyal demeanor in history. It just keeps getting bigger. I know. Giggity. So, but then again, these are just plus zero. We'll still get a benefit from them. Yeah. Uh, I'm kind of thinking military. Yeah. An expression. Or, nah. Conversation. Since I failed last time. So let's do that. Uh, military... Strategy. And then, actually, let's do logistics first. And then, conversation. Flattery. You learn about the types and amounts of food required for an army on the march, and how long they will remain edible. You learn that it's important to make eye contact when saying nice things about someone. Oh, good. Oh, Jesus. You want me to get this? Uh, uh, yeah, sure, take a crack at it. Hmm, let's see. <clears throat> Your vile highness, I would speak with you. I don't like where this is going. What is it? I want to re- I mean, your mother is- <laughs> Your mother bearded the power of a lumen, as have the kings and queens of Nova before her. Now that she is gone, that responsibility goes to you. You're like switching fucking- I don't care! I don't care! Now her- Oh, come on, Crystal of power is now yours! Come on, dude. Yes? Stick with one. Alright, I'm sticking with one. My father said I shouldn't get involved in magic. 
Are you expecting me to get rapey or something? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't worry, that'll come. Just like Elodie. If you don't, who will defend your domain if the Krakens rise again? Krakens? Krakens! There's more than one? Apparently! <laughs> oh, shit, son. I have seen the signs of the future. Danger is coming! I can teach you to control your powers, but first you must seize your birthright and become a Lumen. Uh oh. We have no magic yet. Dad says we shouldn't. Do we want to be, you know. No. No? No. You want to do it? No. No! My father said I shouldn't, and I trust him. You're trying to correct me, you stupid bitch! Your Highness. <laughs> Leave me alone! I just want to rip your eyes. Well, now that you put it like that. <laughs> Ooh, yes! I think I can make an exception. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, a little too much rapey, alright. I'm not rapey enough. <laughs> <laughs> I hope Sarah never sees this. She actually did watch some of, of the it. episodes. Not a full episode. It was an evil <laughs> within one. She like watched the first minute. She's like, oh, "Okay, I'm done here." <laughs> nice. <laughs> Where are we at? God damn it! Okay, so if I do this, then she'll go angry. At least closer. You attend services in the castle grove, letting the peace of the ritual calm your heart. Uh, fuck, man. <sighs> let's do, um, let's do some more conversation, and then intrigue? That's some important stuff. Yeah. Or, yeah, I'll, I'll let you choose one. I'll choose one, and I'll, then I'll choose one. Uh, can you go back one real quick? Yeah. Falcons! <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, hmm. Internal affairs. Alright. Uh, intrigue, internal affairs, and then... Ah, uh, court manners. Until you have a chil until you have children of your own, your maternal uncle, the Duke of Merva, is next in line for the crown, and after him would be his daughter, your cousin Charlotte. You review the correct greetings for guests according to rank, and when to extend your hand to another. All nobles expect their due honors. As you are walking up the stairs, a maid comes running down, holding a towering pile of linen. You gracefully step aside and let her pass. Like a fucking boss. Woo! Elegance pass! Yeah. Finally passed something! Yeah. Uh, let's do this one. Oh shit, that did something different. Last time that was negative afraid, this was negative cheerful. Damn it! <laughs> Good job, asshole. My bad. Sorry, babe. We cool? Yeah, we cool. Oh, shit! Yeah. Woo! Under pressure. Uh. Let's Ooh. see. Look at that bonus for the royal demeanor! I know, let's do royal demeanor, and then... History again? Or economics. Uh. Mm, or whatever. I mean, I'll let that one be your choice. I'm doing royal demeanor. Novin history. Okay. Let's see. Royal demeanor. Composure. <clears throat> history. Novin history. Bam. You practice positive thinking, maintaining a good self-image, and conditioning yourself to carry on rather than, be, rather than be frustrated by any past misstep. You practice sitting calmly while your teacher circles around you 
and makes unexpected loud noises at random intervals. Nova's history involves an endless slew of names and dates. Even as small as it's become, there are ten dukedoms. No, eleven now. Plus the royal line. You hope no one expects you to memorize every lineage. Oh, but they will. They will, young Elody. El Elody. Elody? I don't know. <laughs> there is a man here to see you. Oh, shit. He wishes crown funding for a project of his. Remember, the treasury is not unlimited. Don't spend my fucking money! If you choose to invest, you will have less money to work with later. That's totally the face he fucking had. He's like, don't you spend any of my fucking money, you mm-hmm. fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this guy is invisible. Your royal highness. I have a plan to print books using metal letters, which can be moved and reused. I need to borrow 875 Lassie to assemble the metal and a factory to mold and cast the type. With this system, we will be able to create new books in a fraction of the time it takes and make copies to send all over the world. Gutenberg? I don't know much about factories or trips. Hold you fucking economy. Shut the fuck up. Was that really for you, Marzapaya? We are not interested. God damn it, you just told Gutenberg no. It's your fault. You it's your fault, you fuck you. No, you didn't choose economy. You fucking do. Eh. <laughs> uh, plus one afraid, plus one afraid. Uh, uh, damn it. Um, <clears throat> to, uh, is there pressure? Ah. Damn it. Alright, this one. Court. Sitting on court sessions is not fun at all, but it pleases your father, and it may be important for the future. Anything to please father. Oh my god. (laughs) (laughs) Shut up, Dad. Shut up, bitch. (laughs) I wasn't talking about you. I mean... Shit. <laughs> All right. Next time on Long Live the Queen. Woo! We're going to probably take some classes. <laughs> we're going to learn how to suck dick. <laughs> Explosion. I know. <laughs> <laughs>